Hey everyone, my name is Caitlin. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I post easy, accessible, and delicious vegan recipes. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I post videos every single week. Today I am sharing some summer inspired veggie packed recipes with you that are vegan, but I totally think you could serve these to people who don't follow a plant-based diet and they would enjoy them as well. Super short intro today. I know you guys care more about the food anyway, so let's just get on to the recipes. First up, we're going to be making a vegan one pot pasta primavera. This is a veggie packed spring and summer pasta that is full of flavor and a light lemon cream sauce. So first up, we're just going to toss everything into a pot. So we have some full fat coconut milk, some water, some nutritional yeast, Italian seasoning, and salt. And I accidentally added the onion a little bit too early, so let's just disregard that. So you're just gonna mix that all together until you get a nice uniform broth. Then we're going to add in our dry pasta. Yes, we're adding in dry pasta. We're using the perfect amount of liquid so it will cook perfectly and just leave a nice sauce. Then we can go in with our other veggies. I'm adding in some yellow squash, some zucchini, some red bell pepper, some carrot, and you could also add the onion in here. So then you're just going to mix everything together and then bring this pasta to a boil. And then you're going to cook this for a few minutes until the pasta becomes a little bit just before al dente. And then we're going to add in our other veggies here. So we're adding in some frozen peas, some cherry tomatoes, and then last but not least, some broccoli. And I added these veggies in later just because I don't like it when these vegetables are overcooked. So we just add them and cook them for about three to five minutes more until the pasta is cooked and the sauce is the right amount of liquid that you want left. And then we can stir in some lemon juice and then you're good to go. You can serve it as is or you can add some toppings like fresh herbs, seasoning, or even a shredded vegan cheese. This is a great weeknight dinner. It's ready in about 20 minutes and it's packed with veggies and is the perfect summer recipe. I've been making this on repeat, and if you're not a Red Sauce fan, I highly suggest you check this one out. The full details are all on the blog, which is linked below. Next up, we're going to be making a cheesy vegan zucchini gratin. I don't know about you guys, but every summer I always plant way too many zucchini plants and have a plethora of zucchini. So whether you do that or you're just a zucchini fan, you gotta try this one out. So we're going to add some soaked cashews to a blender along with some yellow onion, some garlic, nutritional yeast for a subtle cheesy flavor, Italian seasoning, smoked paprika, and salt. Then we'll add in some water and blend this up until everything is nice and blended and you just have a smooth and creamy sauce left. This is going to be the dairy-free cheese for our gratin. So this is a dish I'm using for my gratin. You can use a similar size dish. I'm just spraying it lightly with oil so nothing sticks. And then we're going to plop in our zucchini. So I did this kind of organized, but you could also just throw them in if you didn't want them to look as pretty. It doesn't really matter. It's all getting digested anyways after you chew it. So you're going to add them in. I used a mandolin to cut my zucchini pretty thinly. That way they all cook evenly and a little bit faster. So then now we're just going to pour our cream sauce over the top of the zucchini. It'll kind of settle in, which is what we want, so we get that nice cream-filled bite in every bite. And then now we're going to make a gluten-free alternative to breadcrumbs. I'm just using some medium grind cornmeal here, and then adding in some nutritional yeast and salt, and then mixing that all together. The cornmeal gets nice and crispy in the oven, so it kind of acts like panko breadcrumbs, where the nutritional yeast adds more of a cheesy flavor, and obviously salt enhances everything. So I just feel like gratin is usually topped with breadcrumbs or a crispy coating. So I like to do this. It's a fun and fresh alternative, and I also just love the flavor of corn. So here I'm just spraying the casserole lightly with some spray oil. If you want your top to be a little bit more brown, then I suggest you do that. But if you don't really care about that, you can just skip it. So then we're going to pop this in the oven. This is what it should look like once it comes out. You get a slightly crackled crust, some brown golden bits, and a nice, delicious, fragrant smell. So now it's time to just dig in and enjoy. This is a great appetizer or side for a nice summer meal. It's a perfect way to use with the zucchini. And you could just even serve it with something as simple as beans and rice if you wanted to on the side. And there you have it. I am pretty sure if you garden, you've probably attempted, or garden vegetables at least, I would say you've attempted to grow a zucchini before. And usually zucchini plants produce a ton of zucchini. They are very prolific. So I wanted to include some recipes that highlight zucchini, but the pasta from Rivera can definitely take or use a wide variety of uh, vegetables as well. So both recipes will be linked down below if you wanna check them out. I would ask you guys which one's your favorite, but I feel like the pasta primavera is gonna be the more popular one. But you can prove me wrong if you would rather make the, the gratin. 
Uh, yeah, so that's it for these recipes. I hope you guys enjoy them. Click the links if you want to save the photos to Pinterest so you remember to make them later. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are well taking care of yourselves. And I look forward to virtually seeing you in the next video soon. Bye.